Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to ask questions and not answer them. Uh, I've always wondered about some things about push-pull and fans and radiators. And I've looked on the internet and I've never found anyone even broach the subject about noise and fans. Well that's obviously not true. You'll have find that there are a lot of reviews on how loud a fan is. Uh, normally it's free air which to me is kind of irrelevant. I want to know how loud it is pushing through a radiator. And you you may get the occasional review on how loud a fan is pushing through a, radi a radiator. But what I really want to know is the relationship between just push fans and push pull fans. Now I would say the limiting factor in reality for people's water cooling or air cooling for that matter is actually sound or how loud the computer is. You could theoretically have a 240 radiator like we've got in this picture and you could have super fast 5000, 6000 RPM fans like we used to 15 years ago and that could cool better or as well as a 480 radiator or two 240s with fans rolling at 500 RPM. Now the difference being, of course, that the 480 running four, uh, 500 RPM fans will be way quieter than 6000 RPM fans. So that's what we tend to do. We add more radiators, run the, uh, the fans at a lower RPM, and then we have a silent computer and a cool computer. Now, the question I have is about push-pull. Now, obviously, you have to have fans on a radiator. Well, you don't have to, but it certainly works a lot better. So what I've got here is a radiator with two fans, and they're 30 decibel fans, which combined equals 36 decibels. Okay. And over here I have our push-pull system, which then has four fans, and that equals 42 decibels. Now that is a difference of approximately 6 dBA, and unfortunately dBA is a bit of a silly number we actually really care about how loud it is so about a 10 decibel increase is approximately twice as loud so this isn't a 10 decibel increase it's about a 6 decibel increase so it's between 50 to 60 percent louder in theory a push pull is than just a push so the question then is what cooling difference does it make so that's what this is down here so I've got a a thin radiator and a thick radiator and this is the percentage difference for the radiators uh, as an improvement over just push so at 750 rpm you get a 40 percent increase in cooling if you have push pull then just push on the GTX and on the GTS we have a 19.2. At 1300 RPM we've got a 24.5% increase on the GTX and on the GTS we have a 16.8. At 1850 RPM we have a 22% increase for the GTX and a 14.3. Now as you can see the benefits of push-pull is reducing the higher the RPM of the fan. But the interesting thing is that we've got approximately a 60% increase in volume, but we're not at any point getting a 60% increase in cooling power. So my question is, is it actually worth it? And I don't actually know the answer to that. Uh, I assume it's actually not, and then that raises the question, could I not just have two fans, and instead of running them at 1000 RPM, assuming that these four are all running at 1,000 RPM, could I not just run these at, I don't know, say 24% more RPM, which will make them louder, no doubtly, but will it make it as loud as push-pull, or would it be louder or quieter? And if I do increase it by 24% in the RPM, will it actually result in 24% more cooling, which is what this is? Maybe it won't, maybe it will. I've never seen anyone actually test this. 
So I'd love someone to go out there and actually try what the volume impact relative to cooling potential push-pull is. Now I have another example on the end with what is a rather hideous shroud that's green because you couldn't see it when it was black. And I'm going to make a few comments on shrouds. Now there has only been really one that I can find back in the day uh, shroud testing by Martin but I believe he used a round um, shroud and I've always maintained to get the full benefit you have to have a square one because otherwise you're missing out on all of this radiator area so if anyone tests it I'd like to see someone testing it with a square to round or round to square to you to cover all of the radiator otherwise like this sure you're freeing up the space or unblocking where the motor rotor is and it's supporting cross members but you're not able to get in under here into the corners so that's why I'd like to see a square one now it's my belief uh, through personal testing that if you put fans on a shroud they will be quieter and, and that's because of the reduction in turbulence between the, the radiator fins and the fan well at least I believe that's the case but I'm having a theoretical discussion um, with you all today and I will also believe that having a shroud because it takes your circular shape which is pretty much a donut minus the supports and makes it go the entire way across a radiator that you should increase the cooling if you shroud a fan now I did mention that the turbulence and noise yes turbulence does increase cooling so I believe that if you put fans on a shroud they will increase cooling but to some amount but it will also make them quieter now I believe that if if you speed the fans rotation up the benefit of a shroud will increase or potentially the thickness of the shroud needs to increase as the RPM increases but I've never seen anyone actually test what impact shrouds have on performance versus noise I have seen uh, one test where they said that shrouds didn't really make a difference from performance which could be true but it may make it quieter which therefore makes it beneficial now we have to then go okay let's assume that shrouding does improve performance wouldn't that there well improve performance or increase or reduce noise or both then if that is the case aren't we better off having push pull with shrouds in between here which would be something else worth testing and if that is the case or even without shrouds improving performance if push pull alone increases the well reduces sorry I should say the the noise to cooling potential or I uh, forget which way I'm going now increases it so it's quieter and you get more cooling it then begs the question why should we stop at just two fans why don't we have three or four because hey if I get more if I get for the same noise more cooling with two fans one on each side why don't I just have four fans six fans 29 fans now I assume that that's going to be a reducing benefit scale but it, I think it should be tested now I would I, my estimation is that you need to have a shroud between fans so if you had radiator fan fan if you put them together just fan on fan I think it's gonna be really really loud and you would need a shroud between each fan so radiator fan fan and potentially I would expect you would need some kind of veins to straighten the air out because this fan is just going to be creating this turbulent flow in between the fans so you need something to straighten it out 
for a fair test. Now you potentially could just use penetrator fans for testing this because they do have pretty good straight flow. Um, or of course you have to 3D print a shroud that has veins to straighten that out. And I think that would be a valid test of whether or not radi radiator fan shroud fan is beneficial or not. Now I would expect that you would you wouldn't do what I just said, which is radiator fan shroud fan. You would have fan potentially shroud radiator potentially shroud fan and then maybe another shroud and another fan and you're all guys are all going so now your radiator is now this thick which will be off your fray and yes that's probably true but i guess we're just chewing the crud here i guess i think is the term to which is theoretically beneficial or not because I know in some people's cases, like my case, you've actually got a huge amount of space before the graphics card starts. So you actually do have a massive amount of space. And we all, may all be better off getting highly restrictive radiators like potentially the GTX, and there's a debate whether or not that's restrictive or not, and sticking a whole bunch of fans on it than we are to just doing push, pull, or just one set of fans at a faster speed than a whole bunch of fans on our, on one radiator. Uh, on a side note, I believe that we're always going to be better off having one radiator, one set of fans, and a completely separate radiator, and a whole separate pile of fans. I believe that will always be beneficial over radiator push pull shroud push pull shroud push pull shroud push pull shroud uh, but there again I haven't tested that but based on how much performance pr improvement you can get through adding another radiator and how much difference benefit you get by adding a second set of fans and push pull I'm sure that that would always be the best case but for the people that can't add more radiators because they can't, is adding more fans through some complex dream of mine better off than just having one set of fans spinning at a faster RPM. Is that the best we've got? So, there we go. I've rambled on far too much about something that I find interesting and I don't believe anyone's tested. So I'm hoping someone... It's going to come along and watch this and test it. But uh, it's probably unlikely. So you can put your comments down low. Yeah. And you can tell me what you, you think. Which potentially could be everyone just thinking, because I don't think anyone's actually tested this. Blah, 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 blah. I better finish. Uh, you can s subscribe if you like. Pop us a like. You can download our free TEC calculator from ultrasonic2.com and you can also get to our Facebook page from there uh, where you can see what's coming up in the future video-wise and you can discuss things and help me with my issues with computers and cooling. Uh, we have a forum as well, but who uses forums these days? But it's there. Well, it's there right now, but it may not be in the future. Anyway, I shall see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.